Weirdest Behaviors of Sea Creatures. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. What exactly goes on in the depths of the seas? While a lot of humans focus on the possibility of aliens in outer space, maybe we should take a look at the strange things that happen in our oceans first. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Dolphins 24-7 There's not just one particular behavior of a dolphin that is strange. Let's list a few. First off, dolphins are active 24-7. They do sleep eventually, but dolphins stay awake for two weeks straight. Researchers say that dolphins also show signs of cultural development in their groups. Sets of knowledge and practices are passed down to each generation. When they sense a disturbance in the water, dolphins will splash around aggressively and swim close together to reach the surface. They are also very social and not only interact with each other, but other species, such as whales and porpoises. Sarcastic Kissing Sarcastic fringe heads are a type of hardy saltwater fish. They live in the Pacific Ocean near the coasts of North America. Their bodies measure 12 inches or 30 centimeters long and lack scales. They like to hide inside the crevices of rocks or shells or even inside the occasional soda can. You might have noticed their abnormally large mouths. Fringe heads are territorial and battle other fringe heads using their mouths. Their mouths expand when they want to fight. Then they press their mouths against each other, making it look like they're kissing. If one fringe head is smaller than the other, the smaller one usually surrenders and leaves. Octopus Intelligence It might look like mushy globs with long legs, but there is more to an octopus than that. Most octopi are active predators, locating and capturing their prey. Octopi are known to even climb aboard fishing boats and hide in containers to feed on the deceased crabs inside. Others will look for lobster traps and steal the bait. Octopi also display a fondness of playing with toys. When in their aquarium, octopi have been seen releasing their toys into a circular current and then trying to catch them. Researchers discovered octopi could solve of complex puzzles that require pulling or pushing, such as opening containers to eat the food inside. Captive octopi often feel bored without regular stimulation. They exhibit this boredom by throwing rocks, shooting water at objects, or trying to escape from their tanks. The cheerleader crab. What is cuter than a little crab with pom-poms? Not much, we'll admit. Boxer crabs are also called pom-pom crabs because of the anemones they carry on their claws that resemble cheerleader pom-poms. The anemones' tentacles are used to assist the crab in catching more food particles. If there are no anemones around, boxer crabs may use coral or sponges instead. When they need to fight, the anemones will help pack an extra sting to the crab's opponent. The anemones release a protective shield around their crab host, preventing predators from eating them. No eggs for you. It seems humans aren't the only creatures that lie. Female brown trouts will fake releasing an egg to avoid producing offspring with unsuitable males. By having more eggs available, they have a higher chance of attracting a suitable mate. Researchers believe female brown trout fake at least half of their spawnings. Salmon do this as well. Scientists guess perhaps a lot of other fish do this, though other cases have yet to be documented. Leave cucumbers alone. Look at this sea cucumber. It doesn't have any arms or legs or huge fangs. It seems like the least threatening creature you could ever come across. However, sea cucumbers are not fools. They know how to protect themselves. In the face of danger, some species of sea cucumber discharge small, sticky threads. Predators trapped by the threads have difficulty moving around. Sea cucumbers can also mutilate their own bodies, contracting their muscles to cause their own guts to spill out. If you were a hungry predator, you certainly wouldn't be hungry anymore after seeing something like that. Christmas Tree Worms Looking down on this portion of coral looks like you're staring at a hill covered in colorful Christmas trees. These worms, named for their spiral tree-like appearance, come in all sorts of colors. The trees breathe using the branches or bristles. To filter out small plants or to gather animals to eat, the worms also use the branches to pump water up and over their crowns, filtering out what they want. A sticky mucus covers the bristles, helping the worm trap any potential prey that passes by. Each tree worm measures an average of just one and a half inches long. You can find them in the tropical regions of the oceans. Never let me go. Most photos of the bulky anglerfish you see are in fact female. By comparison, males are much smaller. Female anglerfish appear to carry around a strange parasite on their abdomens. Upon closer inspection, scientists realized it was just a tiny male anglerfish. When males find a female to mate with, they bite into the female's skin and fuse their bodies together. This fusion means they share a circulatory system and food and a bunch of other things. Male anglerfish cannot mature unless 
they attach to a female. If they never find one, they die. Battle of the Fiddler Crab Many crabs use their claws for practical purposes like catching prey or fending off predators. Male fiddler crabs have one claw that is larger than the other. When they fight, they do so with their major claw. If a male ever loses his major claw, the smaller claw grows bigger, and the broken one regenerates itself. However, the new pincer stays small. Males attract females with their large claw. Female fiddler crabs have just two small ones. To further convince female that he is the one, male fiddler crabs construct sand hoods as an entrance to their burrow, showing the female he knows how to make a lovely home. Act like a leaf. These fish are found on the central coast of Western Australia and in the Gulf of Manar in India. At a glance, the longfin batfish looks like any other fish you might have in maybe your home aquarium. They are on the market in the aquarium trade, so you probably have seen them as pet fish before. Longfin batfish have flat and narrow bodies, not the most muscled of fishes, but those are the cards they were dealt. The batfish makes the most of its body, however. Younger batfish live among the seagrass and floating sargassum weed beds. To move about under Detected, they sway their bodies side to side to blend into the leaves. The Archer of the Sea They appear tiny, but these fish are some of the stealthiest sea creatures around. Most only measure 5 to 7 inches long. They are called archer fish for their method of catching prey. Archer fish shoot water at insects and other small animals using water droplets they form with their mouths. When an archer fish spots an animal it wants to eat, it rotates its eye so that it can see the image of the prey in a specific specific location on its eye. They place their lips just above the surface of the water, releasing a jet of water towards its prey, like an archer shooting an arrow. Under the Umbrella The glowing sucker octopus knows how to use light to its advantage. Like humans, animals are attracted to shiny, bright things. This octopus is one of the few that displays bioluminescence. When they feel hungry, the octopus opens up its tentacles to fully flesh out its umbrella-like shape. Its glowing body attracts fish toward it. Their prey doesn't even realize they're swimming right under the octopus's mouth until it's too late. A glowing sucker octopus has eight arms of uneven in length, the longest growing 14 inches. Webs join all the arms, and about 60 adhesive suckers are on each arm. Count Squidula We all know that squids like to squirt ink when they feel threatened, but the vampire squid is on a whole different level. Its scientific name is Vampirotuthis infernalis, meaning vampire squid from hell. That red circle near its tentacles is its eye. Their eyes tend to grow large so that they can see better because they live in the deeper parts of the ocean. Unlike other squids, the vampire squid lacks ink sacs. Instead of releasing a dark substance to ward off predators, the vampire squid curls its arms upwards and turns itself inside out. Don't mind me. If you don't know any better, you would have thought this was a plant. The weedy sea dragon is closely related to seahorses and look a lot like them too. Because this sea dragon lacks a prehensile tail like their relatives, they can't swim too well. They have to drift in the water, moved by the currents, and relying on the camouflage to keep them alive. Most of them measure 18 inches in length. They inhabit the waters of the southwestern Pacific Ocean and the eastern Indian Ocean, living at least 160 feet deep. Weedy sea dragons blend nicely with their surroundings, protecting them from predators. Hello, fellow eel? We call it the electric eel, but technically the electric eel isn't even an eel, it's a knife fish. The South American electric eel is the only member of its genus and is characterized by its long, cylindrical body. They weigh up to 44 pounds and can reach 6 feet 7 inches in length. The longer an eel's body is, the higher the electrical charge it can produce. Its three pairs of abdominal organs cause it to generate electricity. The electric eel utilizes the electric charge to immobilize its prey or defend itself. Flip your food. If you ever visited a place where lots of manta rays reside, you've probably seen them flipping around in the water. Ever wonder why they do that? So did scientists. No one is sure precisely why they love to jump and flip around, though there are a few theories out there. One is that the flipping aids them with digestion. Others think that perhaps it's a way to remove parasites from their skin. The most commonly accepted theory is that they do it as a way to show off for mating purposes. 
the whale wave. Humpback whales have had to move from their original habitats thanks to humans and our impact on the environment. This movement in habitat, called the whale wave, has caused something curious to happen among the humpback whale population. As recent as last year, scientists noticed that humpback whales began staying in the open ocean during the early summer and moving closer to the mainland by autumn. Researchers guess that the growing amount of pollution and larger traffic of ships has caused this newly observed behavior. Before we get to number one, we have a question to ask. Think of an ability an animal has that a human doesn't. If you could use that ability for a day as a human, what would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Boy or girl? Clownfish are both, since they are hermaphrodites. They never touched on that subject in Finding Nemo, did they? A school of clownfish are structured under a hierarchy, one that puts the largest and most aggressive females at the top. When the female clownfish in charge passes away, a male clownfish can turn into a female and take her place. Clownfish are born as males first, and when they mature, they turn into females.